And he is Dodgeball's, uh, not Dodgeball, excuse me, Four Squares Others co-founder with uh, Dennis. And he's here to talk to you about a fire he had in his apartment recently. Hey guys, so tonight I'm going to tell you a little story about what it means to have a fire and survive a fire in your New York City apartment. I was actually thinking about calling this talk Ignite, but then I thought it's going to get really confusing. Uh, so rewind back in time, January 15th, I'm having drinks at the Brandy Library, a couple of lemonades, nothing serious. All of a sudden, I get a text message that says, come quick, fire in the apartment. I run home, there's water dripping down all through that staircase. There's a Red Cross sign on my front door that says, uh, call us if you need any help. The radiator in the corner of the living room uh, somehow caught some wire on fire. And by the time I got home, uh, everything had kind of made a mess of the, the living room. Uh, of course, the first thing I did was to dodge well on Twitter about the whole situation. I was, I was kind of like, uh, I think I was just trying to reach out to everyone um, as I was trying to really figure out what was going on. Um, I spent the next couple of weeks living in a hotel because there was really nowhere else to go. I either lived in a hotel or crashed with my parents or at a couple of friends' houses. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, and then I realized that I didn't have any of my stuff and I couldn't take any of my stuff out of my apartment. So I went to the store to buy a lot of the essentials. So things that you don't really think about, like toothbrush and, and shaving cream and socks and, and underwear and things like that. Underwear. Woo! Um, so eventually it took about three weeks, but the contractors came, fixed up the hole in the floor, fixed up the, cleaned up all, every single piece of equipment, electronics, clothing in the apartment. And finally they put on this machine in the room, which is called like an ozone machine. It basically sucks all the odor out of the room and takes all the oxygen out and kills all germs. Um, so when all was said and done, I was homeless for an entire month. Um, and throughout this whole time, I was basically calling the contractors, calling uh, the insurance companies and trying to make something happen so I didn't have to live in a hotel. So now you're probably wondering, how do I prevent a fire in my apartment? And there are really three things. Rule number one, don't start a fire in your apartment. <laughs> Rule number two, don't have anything hot in your apartment, like radiator, ovens, those things usually start fires. Rule number three, don't have bad lucks. Um, and your next question now is, what do I do if I have a fire? And really, there are two sets of things that you want to do. Uh, the first set is stuff that you want to do before the fire in preparation for it. And the second thing is uh, what you should do or make a list of things that you should do after a fire. And thing number one is uh, insurance. If you're renting a place, you could probably get a decent renter's insurance for about $400 a year. If you own a home, uh, I'm pretty sure most banks won't actually let you have a home loan until you actually sign insurance for the home as well. Second thing you want to do is you want to have cash, extra cash laying around for an emergency. Don't stuff it under the mattress because that's probably going to catch fire. <laughs> the cash is something you need at three in the morning or something like that for a cab or for taking a bus home to your parents or for food or for band-aids or something. Um, you want to also, before a fire, make an itemized list of everything that you have and everything that's valuable in the apartment. Big ticket items like your, your flat screen TV, uh, jackets and suits that cost you a lot of money, your scuba gear, all these things. Because you're going to need this for uh, proving to the insurance that you actually had it in the apartment, as well as for your own sanity afterwards, because you're not going to know where's what's what. Have a backup of all your stuff. Most of you are you know, into computers, so you already do this. But backup also means things like phone numbers and uh, credit card information, bank account information. Um, know what your valuables are. Valuables are things like money you have in your apartment, jewelry, um, family heirlooms, anything else that you can't afford to lose. No more there before the fire, and if possible, after a fire, take them out of your apartment because your front door is going to be broken down. Anyone can enter your apartment, take things out anytime they want to. Um, and speaking of people that are going to come by, uh, I had someone call me up pretending to be from the fire department looking for my home address, wanting to know basically if I wanted help. Uh, but they're really trying to take advantage of your situation and cheat you out of your money. Um, don't pay rent. Uh, this is easy to do. Uh, you don't have electricity, you don't have water, you don't have heat, uh, and you're not living in your apartment. So you shouldn't have to pay your management company uh, all this money when you're not actually there. Um, and speaking of management, you're going to have to be on them, and you've got to be very diligent about this, uh, to get them to come in and fix your place up. It took me about three weeks to actually go through this process of back and forth. I called them every single day for two weeks straight. Um, and uh, it, it, it was really time consuming. Um, and lastly, don't never, never, never give up hope in this. Uh, like any crisis, of course, you're probably going to lose everything. There's a chance you could have lost everything. I didn't. Uh, a lot of my stuff was able to be cleaned up. Um, I still don't have all my clothes back. They've actually been sent upstate to some special fire cleaners. Um, 
And so to recap, insurance, emergency fund, and have a little like backup plan. Know exactly what you have, mainly for your sanity as well as for insurance. And keep your chin up and make the whole process funny. <laughs>